Good evening, everybody. Um, in this lecture, we'll be covering C++ pre and post increment, and uh, kind of looking into the details uh, implementation of them. I'll be going over some of the uh, important topics that kind of will help you along the career path to kind of better understand these pre and post increments. All right, so let's dive into it. Well, what we'll be covering is how it is used. Uh, if you are basically just coming in and don't know much about uh, pre and post, so this will be a quick uh, overview of how they're used. If you already know them, it might be something really short. I try to keep it short because I'm hoping it won't cause too much problems just to understand them. We'll spend some time to see how they're implemented and we'll go into the implementation details which are important for uh, kind of understanding the whole thing so you don't end up memorizing it, you actually understand how it, it's working, kind of helps you out. So with that, let's start. Alright, let's look at how it is used. I want to define a variable called i at the top. Next two lines says i++ plus plus and plus plus i. Um, they basically do the same thing. Taking the efficiency on the side for now, we'll just look at the implement. We'll look at that later. For now, let's look at uh, just uh, just as they are. They'll actually just increment by one. Nothing special there. And then you pass into a function. That's where it kind of matters what you do. Plus plus i will increment the value before it's passed into the function. I plus plus will pass the value before it's incremented. Um, it'll pass the old value in, just to phrase it right. And if you output i, it'll kind of, if you follow the same sequence, i equals to 0, plus i plus plus will give you 1, plus plus i gives you 2, some function, you increment plus plus i will make the value 3, you pass the value of 4 here, without, um, the increment happens, and then if you, next line, if you output i, it'll give you a 5. So just basic difference between when you pass it into a function. Sometimes you will do weird stuff like, not weird, I'm sorry. It's actually pretty common. Um, int j equals to i plus plus. What you want to do is you want to store the value of i, the old value of i, to something else, but you want to increment it. So this kind of one-liner does two things for you. It'll store the old value of i, and it'll increment i for you. And uh, here we are in the for loop. Sometimes you use them as plus plus i and i plus plus. Again, um, single line statements won't make any difference. It will increment the value by one. Either way, you can use plus plus i or i plus plus. No difference. Now again, efficiency we'll talk about later. And there are some special cases. Before we go into that, let me make a quick note. We'll only be covering plus plus, but minus minus is exactly the same thing. All the, all, everything I say applies to minus minus also, so we'll just cover the plus plus. So in special cases, we'll probably never use them, but uh, somehow they pop up during the interview question and people ask, well, I never use them, why they even ask me those questions? Well, that's because they just want to know if we have the implementation understanding of the prefix and postfix. Because if you have the implementation understanding of them, then these things kind of makes sense to uh, ask because then the, the guy who's interviewing you knows that you actually didn't memorize just out of the box and you actually know how it works. The last one, it says i equals to i plus plus. That's something you should never do. If you see somebody doing that, it's actually totally wrong. It'll compile, but there's a lot of problems with that. Once you understand the implementation of the post scripts, that will kind of be obvious why this won't do what you kind of expecting it to do. I don't know what you're thinking to do from the first place because it's actually strong. It just compiles. That's about it. So we'll cover that. All right. Here's a quick implementation. This is just this slide kind of gives you just an overview of what the implementation looks like. We'll cover 
the prefix and postscripts in details. The only thing I want to mention here is prefix is set to be increment and fetch. It's really important that you know that it's actually increment and fetch. What that means is you actually going to increment in place. What that means is you actually going to increment in the memory, and you just going to return the value from the memory. Okay, no temporary temporary variables are created to store any kind of value here. You just going to increment and return. All right. Postscript is actually you have to fetch it, so you have to store it first, and then increment it, and then you're going to be returning the old value. I plus plus will return the old value, you remember? But it will increment it in the memory. So that's why you have uh, you're gonna have to create a temporary variable within the body and return and you're gonna be returning a const object. We'll cover all that in the details, but just know that prefix is actually incrementing in place. Both scripts has a couple of temporary variables that it creates. So that's you know the the differences and because of these differences in how their implementation is different it will matter a lot when you go about using them in the real world so we'll cover all that Okay, so let's look at prefix. Prefix basically stands for increment and fetch. Um, just a quick two-line implementation. All it's going to do is it's going to increment in place and it's going to return the value. Um, if you're not familiar with the, this object, um, we'll cover that in some other lecture. But for now, just know this is pointing to the current object. So all you need to know is prefix is actually incrementing in place in the, in the memory wherever it is and it's just returning that particular object and it's going to return a reference to it that's why you have my and ampersand ampersand all it's doing it's returning a reference so there's no temporary copies are made so as in the observation section you'll see that line one returns an reference is the object is already created in memory you don't need to create anything else, so you can shoot a reference to it. So, in function takes no argument as expected because you're not you're not doing anything special. But there is another good reason why it doesn't have any argument. But if you look at postscript, we'll cover that next. You'll notice that it does have an argument passed in, even though you'll never use it. Anyhow, we'll cover that. And uh, then you have okay. So, what special case are we talking about here? Talking about the case where you have plus 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 i, and we're gonna see why it works. Well, like I said, you will never use them, but you will might be asked this during the interview. It's really one of those common question that comes up, and they kind of confuses people because people never use them. But they still tend to ask them during the interview just to know that you have a good standing of the prefix and postscripts. Oh, well, let's look at an example. You got an i equal to zero. You got plus 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 i going on, and uh, the output. If you were to output that, it will get a two. That's because when the plus plus operator is called, it's actually going to return your reference. That while well, the reference is already there, the the memory exists, and since it's doing an increment place, what that means is actually incrementing in memory, it can increment the application again. So it can increment it as many times as it wants to. So instead of having just incrementing twice, you can have this thing incrementing 10 times. Prefix, it'll work. Because every time you do an, every time you call a plus plus operator, it's going to return a reference and you're basically going to pass that reference to the next plus plus operator and uh, in that you're basically just incrementing in the memory so that's why it'll always work because you're actually returning a reference so just remember that okay because that's not the case with the postscript 